Hey everyone! In the previous video, we took a look on some of the sensors and modules supplied with the MakePython ESP32 dev kit, and how they can be used in different projects, and also how to use the OLED display. In this video, we'll learn about the pass sensor device and how to use it in a simple heart rate measurement project. Before starting this video, please note that you should never connect the pulse sensor to your body while your development kit is being powered from the main AC line through an adapter. The pulse sensor is a small analog device that can be used to measure the heart rate easily. It includes a simple optical sensor with amplification and noise cancellation circuitry so that reliable readings can be obtained. A 3-pin connector is supplied in the kit, and it should be soldered to the 3 pins on the device. The side with the heart logo is the one that contacts the skin. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. The output, pin S, of the sensor is connected to analog input 32 of the dev board. Ground and VCC are connected to ground and 3.3V pins respectively. The circuit is very easy to implement. On the sensor there is a small hole where the LED shines through from the back. And a small light sensor pad is placed at the other side. Now let's take a look at the program. At the beginning of the project, the OLED and the post sensor interfaces are defined. The ADC is set with an attenuation of 11 dB so that the input voltage range is 0 to plus 3.6V. The ADC resolution is set to 10 bits. Then a message is displayed on the OLED and the user is prompted to place his or her finger on the pulse sensor. The program carries out a calibration for 5 seconds and calculates the maximum and minimum values read by the ADC. The values are stored in variables maxv and minv respectively. The rest of the code runs in an endless loop set up using a while statement. Inside this loop, the output of the pulse sensor is read, and the beat per minute is incremented if the signal exceeds the threshold. This threshold is used to calculate the beats per minute. The program then displays the values read from the ADC while the display is scrolled left by one pixel so that a graph of the data can be drawn in real time. And the whole process is repeated until stopped by the user. The author indicates that in this project, the value of the beats per minute multiplied by 4 was calibrated using a professional pulse sensor device, and you may need to recalibrate with your own setup. Now all you have to do is to run your program. When the program is started, place your finger on the sensor and wait for the graph of the heart rate to appear. This is an example of the result I had. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our upcoming videos.